Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Cold War Iron Curtain mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Double A Lover. But Nasir declines a ceasefire. As expected and almost hoped, Nasir has declined our proposed ceasefire. The Israelis will be keeping advancing on the Sinai and the word has been given to our borders or bombers and airborne units to prepare the launch. Well, an, well, an accepted ceasefire would have been ideal. Um, our top generals are confident in the force of success. Darn. Uh, oh. Operation Musketeer revives, the British troops land in the Suez, so... Better get that gas... Now, can I say that? I just sent a volunteer division over here, uh, to... Can I say Israel? Oh, well. The time for peace has passed, and our bombers and troops and transports are heading for the Suez momentarily. The plan is to strike key military infrastructure targets in and around the Suez, following which our men will land on Port Faoud. All of our plans with the British and Israelis will soon be put to the test, and we can only hope that we succeed both militarily and, perhaps more importantly, on the floor of the U.N. For even to take back our land and secure our oil lines, or oil lanes. The international community might not have the same thoughts and opinions on this whole affair. Bombs away. Kaboom. And we're doing uh, Begin Plan Hirsch. So, like I said in the last video, I had to force this through because this is a more historical route. We got quite a few comments to go through as well. So, we went with, of course, with Algeria 1, like we said last time. Did the signing of new national loans. Extend conscription times. Increase uh, different taxes. Colo administration reforms, which sucks. And beginning plan Hirsch, which removes minimum services funding and adds basic services funding, which we can't literally afford right now. And then, um, create Sud Aviation. State Directed Economy 2 from State Economy 1. Which actually is not bad. You better get better consumer goods, which actually I'm not too upset about that one. Spend 50 billion more dollars. Stability goes down. More fuel consumption. Well, we have no stability anyways. You might as well do that one first. Spend 50 more billion dollars. This one says high services funding. Do they think that we can afford this? Bruh. Um, I guess we'll go some first since we don't have any stability anyways. Spend 50 more billion dollars. Our GDP is literally the negative. Like, uh, I'm worried about this. So we'll see how far we can get. And we are, I mean, we're socialists right now. And which that was one of the com uh, communists. The comments from the last video. Ooh, Operation Telescope. That go socialists. Well, I guess we have. Our transports have reached a drop zone, and our brave airborne units are dropping momentarily. Israel's already performing its part of the operation. And although we've already provided some air support, it's time for us to carry out our end of the Severus deal and retake the canal from Nasser and King of Thieves. Good luck, men. Hey, we, we showed up. Hey, yay. I don't know how we're supposed to do this, but okay. More tech. Oh, hello. Uh. What do I do with you all? We're not at war with anybody. I already sent a volunteer over here. That was all for nothing. At least it didn't cause World War III. And when the British and French invaded Egypt in the conjunction with Israel, they'd hoped that at the very least the international community would sit by and let the situation unfold. However, the opposite occurred as the U.S. was at the head of an international outrage against Anglo-French-Israeli operation today. That outrage has culminated with the U.S. or United Nations passing two resolutions that demand an immediate end of the conflict and the handling over the canal to the U.N. peacekeeping force. While the tripartite pact seemed to be Successful militarily? Wait, what? It is clear that the Suez crisis has been no less than a political disaster with heavy repercussions for all three countries. At least it didn't cause World War III. Formation of the MPLA? Okay, then. Well, alright. Uh, alright. Well, we tried. We tried. You know, we, like, we did try. IMF influence is not very high here, which is good. Um, our debt, current debt is $16,000 billion. A lot of debt. Available bonds, not enough. Monthly balance is minus nine billion. Oh my gosh. Um, influence, privatization campaign. I don't lose any more political power. Reduce bureaucratic assistance. Basic services funding, yeah. Okay, well, get rid of that. All right, uh, military equipment purchasing. We don't really need that either. Operation Oran. Well, we don't need any of this either. And the Bamileke War. And we could leave NATO. Which, no, I'm not sure that'd be really good for us. And then we have the performance of variable calculations. Regardless, rationing of gasoline is going on. And up next... Um, State Direct Economy. I mean, that's not bad. I had basic services. We can't afford that, bro. We can't afford that. Uh, I think we'll go with create this one, just because we get better consumer goods, that's always good to get. Hey, look, minus 27 billion. It got worse. <laughs> it got worse. How can it get any more worse here? I'll buy some comments included as well. Uh, elect the PCF and go libertarian socialist. Section Francais de l'international overall. 
I do not speak French. I took one year French in high school, so I do not know how to speak French. Um, so we have SFLO, socialist. That's the party we currently have. Social Democracy, UDSR, PCF. Oh, and go Libsock. Oh, well, Libertarian Socialists? Well, they're Marxist Leninists. They're not quite. Hmm. Is that supposed to be like that? We're still in debt, but, uh. Alright. Well, we're still trying to build ourselves up here, too. Doing the best we possibly can. You know what? Get this one done first. It gives us slightly more GDP. Slightly more, so we'll try that. Um. Yeah, the fall of the government is taking way too long. Um. I don't know. It is what it is. Hello. Resistance to occupation. Well, I don't give a crap. You have enough autonomy as is. We can industrialize the state, but we're good. Um, other than that, someone said we should do the UK and save the empire, especially in Africa, like the entire group here. Yeah, it'll be fun. Sometime, sure. Uh, someone says we should... Oh, actually, someone asked, can we get the Bourbon dynasty back? Getting the Bourbon dynasty back in the 1950s and approaching the 1960s is going to probably be a little difficult. Probably a little difficult. Um, why not? Because we can. AMX Force, cool. And doesn't really matter. There you go. But happy 1957, everybody. And someone says we should play as the UK, play as Taiwan, or the Soviets, in which all three are, should be more developed than France. Yeah, I'm not... The, the, ooh. Yeah, the, the USSR, the UK, and hopefully Taiwan are all... The Republic of China have... Uh, a little bit more developed. Honestly, I can't imagine. I'm going about the Soviet rapprochement with Yugoslavia. Please go ahead. I can't imagine uh, China uh, having extreme difficulties, but I mean, after they lose the war. Growing paranoia. Arrest Sun Li Zhen, of course. Empower the Double C clique. Prepare for Operation National Salvation. Alright. Alright. Uh, well, we got a lot of. Look at that. We got, we got quite a f bit of food. Nah, never mind. Yeah, it left us. Wow, they did all the armed forces stuff already. Fall of the mainland. Fall of Hainan. Victory in Hainan. Oh boy. Raid Fujian. Okay, well, it is what it is. Uh, but we have no stability. I mean, it's. Welcome to France. Um, economic investments. Economic decisions. Por what? Por qué? Is it por qué? La familia soit heroes. Vote communist. The first backwards class is commission. Okay, well, Suit Aviation's next. Then, uh, extend paid holidays of three weeks. Alright, can't afford that. And then sign the Treaty of Rome. Selecting this focus will start a vote to create the European Economic Community. Hopefully, that does something good for us. Well, everybody, right now we're trying to sign the, the Treaty of Rome, but I didn't realize that this one actually would pop up, so they're all green. They look like they want yes, so we're going to vote yes as well, which we're right here, and vote no. So I didn't realize that you actually had to vote during the focus. I wish they would tell us, like, devs would tell us, like, oh, vote during the focus or vote after the focus. I think that might make it a, a little bit easy. Might make it a little easier. Does... Huh. I just realized America owns bases here in the UK. I never knew that. I guess that would make some sense. I guess Germany got the star broken back. And America's got Rammstein Air Force Base in Spangdalem. Huh. I never knew that. I literally never knew that. So, Operation 20. More inflation. Uh, that's not good. It gives them more construction speed. And actually lowers our stability. Impact on war exhaustion. Take a loan from the Bank of France. Uh, let's fight against a deficit. I mean, I mean... It's one thing to have a deficit, but when your GDP is literally negative 27 billion... Oh, look at that. We're actually green now. Look at that. Or blue. Green. Blue. European development. Uh, political cooperation. Or cooperation. Yeah, not really there. Yeah, deficits are nice to work on, but actually having a positive GDP might be a bigger issue. Maybe? I mean, economy-wise, we're looking okay. Um, but yeah, we'll be fighting against the deficit. We'll take a loan from the Bank of France. We'll have Operation 20. And then Galliard, Gaillard Economic Reforms. And then Reduce Public Sector Expenditures. I mean, that's fine. We don't need to be up so high. Oh, that's unfortunate. And then ask for financial American financial help. Yeah, we'll definitely need American financial help, won't we? The bombing of Sakit Sidi Youssef. The reports from military commanders in Algeria indicate that the ALN has escalated straight from their safe havens in Tunisia. The rebels are also using the border and their ties with the Tunisian sympathizers to flood Algeria and the FLM with weapons. Our forces are attempting to intercept these forces in arms, but the Tunisians are not helping. 
Diplomatic attempts with the Tunisia are going nowhere and relations continue to deteriorate. The military which has permission to launch an airstrike on the town of Sakid, Asakiet, Sidi, Yusuf, it is a major ALN staging ground and effective strike could cripple their operations. However, if we give permission, it will likely trigger a strong Tunisian reaction. Authorize a raid, and also... Okay, so now we're doing okay. So, the thing is, I, I made a mistake earlier, right? Maybe, um... Probably. Actually, I probably made a mistake. So, we had military... No, not military. Uh, but, uh, economic austerity placed on us because we went into debt. So, we got out of that. So, it's been a couple couple years. Um, so then, we didn't have military... Military, military. Economic austerity and stuff like that in total... So, which actually, instead of having negative $27 billion, it went literally flipped over to $27 billion, positive amount, and now we're back at normal. So really, when we got into debt because of arbitrary reasons, which I don't remember why we got into debt, but whatever, because that was just, that was literally crippling us. Um, now we're okay. We're at 56 billion GDP, which is okay. I mean, as you can tell from the graph here, it goes up and then went, and then just, wah, and then went, oh my god, and now we're going back up, which is okay. So now we're actually making almost $30 billion a year after deleting the entire military almost completely and being forced to have some more military, but... And we still have a GDP growth rate of negative 200%, which... I'm not sure if it's completely me. It might be partially me just because I did screw that up. I didn't understand that at all. The game doesn't really explain it to you too much. I mean, I guess we could have had the tutorial open and whatnot, but... Um, it is what it is. My, I, I, I guess I'll take the blame for it. I don't understand this mod completely well, but then again, it's sometimes... Oh... Morocco's having Civil War too. Um, I, I don't know, but the economy is looking so much better, is it not? There goes, yeah, there goes Morocco. So now we have a lot more civvies that we can work with. So we're making two office parks now, two industrial parks, and one and a half uh, municipal infrastructure, which will help us build in the state uh, industrial parks as well as gives more construction speed, which is awesome. Because we made more money back, and we actually have an economy now after being extremely crippled by sanctions or austerity and stuff like that. We can actually afford stuff now, which is awesome. Uh, but also, we have no focuses. It's 1958. It's already May. Wow. We did do this one. Arrest FLN leaders. The ALN will lose manpower and experience after we finished off all this stuff down here. Not bad. Increase American influence a little more. So basically, I think we're just waiting for the 1958 crisis. I'm not sure whether that's going to fire, but... Oh, I'll drink compromise. But it's probably going to fire as soon as we fade out. The motion of no confidence. The National Assembly in Paris voted a motion of no confidence, effectively ending the government of Prime Minister Felix Galliard. Or ga oh, Galliard? It says Gaillard. Galliard. The young Prime Minister sought to build a centrist political alliance, but these efforts were thwarted by the Algerian War, which doesn't exist. The French military recently launched airstrikes against the Tunisian border village of Sakit Sidi Youssef, allegedly targeting the FNL base. However, a large number of casualties reportedly, including many civilians, and the violation of Tunisian sovereignty had caused a major diplomatic crisis. The Tunisian authorities are rapidly removing French privileges in the country, and many in France feel the government completely botched the situation and can no longer be trusted to govern. For many in Paris, the quick collapse of the Galliard government fits general public or general political instability that has plagued the Fourth Republic. Uh, another government change. Well, you're still here, though. No crisis yet. Also, Vietnam has exploded. Um, they're not under us, I think. We do want to influence them a whole bunch, but we greatly forward. Look at that. They are fighting the National Liberation Front, a bunch of Marxist-Leninists, and they don't have unique focus so they really do need to die. I've already sent planes down here to deal with them. So we'll see what happens. Ah, uh, 30 billion every month? Not bad. My goal is at least pay off the debt. Like, that's... Oh. Yeah, no one's there, huh? Ah. And we're back in South Vietnam. Or just Vietnam in general. Oh, we got oh, some actual hats. Look at that. Jach. Please do the best you can, Jacques. Jean de la Terre de Astassigne. I do not speak French. But he's going to be aggressive. Oh my goodness, he's going to be aggressive. And offensive. I like aggressive, offensive guys. Jean Locke. Hopefully we can do well down here. And they are spreading out like a cancer with their ice hats, but that's okay. But at least we have something here to do. Something. Um, and these guys are still 27 come with... Oh! Madness. Absolute madness. If you want to help out, that's totally fine. Just make sure we don't lose Saigon. If we can break through there, uh, that won't really help us out too much, but that'd be really good. Hope we don't get in circle. We'll attack there and attack down here, too. They can only send one volunteer, so. Plevin and the Bidal get, fails to form the government. 
Uh, France has faced increased turmoil due to the unstable political scene and growing unrest in Algeria. The President René Cotillas asked René Plavin and Georges Bidal to form governments, but could, both could not. With the civil war or civil order at risk, there is increased pressure for the President to find a new government quickly. However, the President appears unable or willing to take a more active role. The Constitution has set up also limits his ability to act. With the situation appearing more dire, many French citizens are left wondering how the situation could be salvaged. Announcing the execution of French so soldiers. The FLN, which we thought we were killed off, announced it as executed. A French soldiers captured in the recent operations. The news has shocked and galvanized many in France of the FL uh, FLN. Expected the announcement would weaken French resolve, they were gravely mistaken. The French military is already promising retribution, and there are reports of Pied Noir militants planning their own retribution on Algerians. The fighting in Algeria has reached a new level of notoriety. It appears the FLN actions will open the door to more brutal fighting. The situation could worsen sharply and quickly. I don't know, man. I I'm kind of like, what's going on? That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Le coup d'état d'Algier. I made reports that Pierre Philip Flimblim was to form a new French government in Paris. French forces in Algeria staged a coup. General Jacques Massou and Raoul Salan led the coup, with Massou giving a speech announcing the coup leader's demand and end demands on the government. Massou called for a new government of public safety under le legendary French leader Charles de Gaulle. They want the new government to receive extraordinary powers to ensure Algeria is not abandoned. The French president René Coty is said to be sent by the change of events as the new prime minister is finding his supporters quickly deserting him. The military response appears to be a response to concerns for the new prime minister plans on negotiating a peace that hands over Algeria to the FLN. The French completes the uh, focus 1958. And there we go, we got it finally. Alright, so can we actually do anything here? Pierre. Nothing there. Can I just kill off a bunch of Algerians? Ah, oh, Salan speaks. General Raoul Salan addressed the French people in a radio address from Algiers. The general confirmed. He is in command of the new military government in Algeria. He reiterated the coup leader's demand that Charles de Gaulle be put in charge of a government with extra powers to ensure Algeria is not abandoned. Salan then addressed a large crowd from a balcony, leading chants of Viva la de Gaulle. Two days later, French journalists interviewed Charles de Gaulle, who stated that if called upon, he was ready to assume the powers of the Republic. The announcement has ignited concern across France that de Gaulle has possibly aligned himself with the military junta in Algeria. Well then. Well, well, well. <laughs> Come on, you bunch of South. Or just Vietnamese troops. They do have two divisions here. But our combos should be better overall. Hopefully, 53 is not great. <coughs> oh, crap. What? what? Oh, if you. Well, I apologize about that one. I was just going to, like, do this. But then the game's like, nope, I'm going to do the thing here. So, my apologies about that. Oh, crap. Uh, current debt. Mm, we're getting better, though. Oh. Salon announces that CSPAS. The Algerian crisis escalated as the Junta in Algiers announced the formation of Comité de Salut Public Algeria Sahara. The Junta leader, General Raoul Salan, stated that the current Committee of Public Safety would now oversee all Algeria and the Sahara. The coup leaders are now officially seized the territorial mandate of the French government in North Africa. It is now clear that the coup leaders are likely preparing to expand their operations to eventually expand their operations and mandate to mainland France. How did America allow this? <laughs> I'm more worried about the debt. Operation Resurrection. To increase pressure on Paris, elite French paratroopers from Algeria paratroopers dropped and seized Corsica. The operation is being called the Resurrection. The operation is being called Resurrection. The paratroopers faced no resistance and took control of Corsica without any resistance. There are increasing concerns in Paris that the military contains many elements sympathetic to the Algiers junta under General Raoul Salam. Following the successful operation, Salam reached an ultimatum giving the government until the 29th to give Charles de Gaulle power. France appears to be on the brink of civil war. Even more worrying. <coughs> Excuse me for my coughing. <coughs> It's a little bit crazy here, I'm not going to lie. A bit crazy. Oh, de Gaulle meets Flimlim. Charles de Gaulle met with the Prime Minister Pierre Flimlim to reach an agreement, but the discussions completely failed to reach a resolution. It appears the two men cannot see eye to eye on most issues, especially in Algeria. The failure of the talks only escalates the crisis, as it appears de Gaulle will not be able to work with the current government to resolve the conflict. The coup leaders in Algiers remains committed to its demands. Charles de Gaulle takes power. The more time which passes without a resolution increases the likelihood of invasion from Algeria. Doesn't make things easier. And if anything, we want to go right there immediately. I do want to kind of force the attack. Flim government resigns. Prime Minister of Pierre Flim Lim and his government resigned amidst the crash of the military coup in Algeria. The recent occupation of Corsica and the subsequent ultimatum released by General Raoul Salam brought renewed pressure for the government to reach a resolution before the civil war breaks out. Prime Minister of Flim Lim, whose appointment caused a crisis, uh, did try to reach an agreement with Charles de Gaulle, who supported that pressure from the President René Coteau, persuaded the Prime Minister and Ministers to resign. Assembly abandons. 
Some refuses. Operation Gaul is back. I think the Assembly abandons is the way we want to go, so that's why the Fourth Republic fell. And we have the Fifth Republic, okay. And Charles de Gaulle did rule eventually, so. We get de Gaulle comes back. Probably. Hopefully. Force it. Nice. Apologies again for missing that one uh, event. Like, I didn't mean to skip over that. It just happened. So. De Gaulle is back. President René Coté addressed the National Assembly in Paris. He laid out the predicament faced by the Republic, and noting France stands on the brink of an all-out civil war like normal. He then urged the Assembly to stand and put aside the differences and vote to appoint Charles de Gaulle as Prime Minister. He reminded the representatives that it was de Gaulle who restored liberty during the darkest hour of French history. De Gaulle and Coté then came to an agreement that a new constitution with a powerful executive will be drafted and that de Gaulle shall receive extraordinary powers in the next six months. The National Assembly will vote on in the coming days to approve Charles de Gaulle and his cabinet. President Coty indicated he would resign if de Gaulle was not approved. Viva la France. Oh! Okay. The French military in Algeria, led by General Raoul Salon, recently launched a coup in the French North Africa, demanding Charles de Gaulle take over France. The action came out of growing frustration over the unstable political environment of Paris and fears the current government planned on negotiating an end of French rule in Algeria. The tensions were ramped up after the junta in a bloodless airborne operation captured Corsica. Then they then gave a deadline for de Gaulle to be appointed for his part. Charles de Gaulle simply stated that the nation needed him. He was ready to act. As the deadline approached, President René Coty decided to appoint de Gaulle, threatening to resign if the National Assembly did not approve. Charles de Gaulle was subsequently elected with a ma mandate to oversee a new constitution and six months of emergency powers to reform and restore the national institutions. Good. Oh. There's us. Where's, uh, Coty? Oh. Well. Well, yep, at least we got a new focus to do. Call back de Gaulle. Compromise. Huh. Well. Yep. Can't do this one. Demobilization. Relocation? Who are oh Freedom of French Algeria. Cut ties with French Alger Algeria? Yeah, screw Algeria. Give women Muslim women the right to vote. I don't know about that. I would prefer to take on a new loan. Yeah. Let's look at we keep every time we get something for war exhaustion, it just keeps getting stronger and stronger for us. Which I, don't get me wrong, I love, but still. Come on guys, win. Win, win, win. They have no, I really doubt they would have forced down here, right? Yeah, they don't, so there'd be no point. Hey, good job, guys. Oh, here you lost immediately. Huh. <laughs> yeah, don't get encircled. I mean, we're trying to do that against these guys, but still. Come on. We got him. Good job, guys. Good job. Can you get there fast? No, you can't. That sucks. Hold for now. If they want to move, that's fine. Um, let them spread out just a little bit more. Actually, you guys could probably go and do really well right there. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, I do want to go in there, but the, there's a high chance that we'll get encircled in there. You guys actually move there, maybe? Probably not in time. But you never know. Nice. Because these guys are spreading out all over the place, which does kind of suck, not going to lie. Uh, do we need more planes at all? We probably honestly do. Here. Uh, share the wealth. Support coming. we got plenty of support coming right now. Yeah. It's fine. Share the wealth. Well, at least we're doing something here. How's the economy doing? Two, two, and then two some? Not that bad. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's not looking good for us now, is it? No, it is not, sir. No, sir. Honestly, if we could go, like, right there and go right there and circle these guys and kill them off, that'd be great. But we'll probably go right here first. Or go up here as well. Yeah, we're taking a long time to move up the hill. Awesome. You guys did it? Yeah, we're... We're getting close to getting any circle. That sucks. Alright, well, at least... Oh! Well, that's not bad. Of course it. They do, do have two divisions. Look like they're militias. They got a lot of organization. They have an extreme amount of organization. Holy crap. That's a lot of organization. Call back to Gaul, take out a new loan. Yes, please, we get $50 billion, which is nice. We, My goal is to pay off all the debt, so. We'll see. Oh, to get some extra help. Yes, please. Are we fighting in mountains? Oh, that sucks. Imgre Nagi executed? Well, could be worse. At least we've got more focuses to do. Let's see how far this campaign goes, so. We'll go as far as we possibly can. Oh, increased funding for the Republic of Vietnam. Uh, South Vietnamese government is organizing its own forces to force the crush threat and liberate Vietnam themselves. Above Vietnam, National Liberation Front. 
You can have another billion, that's fine. If you don't have more, it's fine. I don't really care too much, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, you gotta increase this. As, you can, as long as you destroy their organization, that's all that matters, man. That's literally all that matters. Hey, I don't like how you can't just pay off debt. Like, like for me, like, I pay off my debt, like, oh, I'm doing like increments of $500 at a time. You should be able to take out. Oh, take a new loan. Oh my god. Please, no more loans. Fine, we'll give the Muslim women the right to vote. Do they deserve it? That's not for me to decide. I want you to hold real quick. Get some more organization real quick first, too. Hourly recovery. Not very much. And go back in. And of course, to do as much damage you can to their organization. As long as they can't move or reorganize, they won't be able to do anything here, so. Things falling apart. Pretty normal. That other division should die very soon. We don't have that much organization left, so. Yeah, guys, can you keep defending the line? I mean, this is technically your territory. Morocco nuclear reactor, nuclear reactor, nuclear reactor, nuclear reactor. Nice. No de Gaulle. Abolishment of the Iraqi monarchy, probably a mistake. Come on, guys. No, don't give them time to or get more organization back. Come on. That division literally is almost literally dead. Why is it so hard to take them out? Why do they have so much equipment? How does Vietnam have that much equipment? How? How can we not do well here? I don't understand this. This makes literally no sense. They're guys with guns. Yeah, they get like probably equipment from like Soviets and stuff, but Jesus Christ, what the heck? How would they have a tons and tons of artillery pieces to be able to stockpile? Sock by all that stuff. That makes no sense. And I get the other Vietnamese side. Probably doesn't have that much either. But us? Come on, man. Sakarno? Pretty normal stuff for him. Sigma Cargo. Sigma Cargo. Presidential visit of Taipei? Alright. Fire support? Uh, 1960 stuff. Nuclear reactors. This focus is done. Alright, get some of that going. And then we'll go with Promise African Freedom. I don't know about that, son. And yet, we're suffering from attrition here. I mean, this doesn't make any sense. This literally makes no sense. Can you go... How? I guess it's hills, but still. How? How? It's green! We have green here. We should have literally no supply issues. Okay, go over here. Uh, that should be a supply point, so we should get at least a little bit of supply. So this literally does not make any sense at all. This mod, man. This mod. Keep making more money. There should be zero supply shoes that we get on the supply point, right? Right? Alright, American bomber shot down over Indonesia. Got some nice hats, helmets. Debt of almost two billion. Oh my goodness. We got a bunch of loans. Get rid of our loans, right? You should be able to win. I'm sick of this stupid war. How? How? Engineers, recon, field hospitals. That doesn't make any sense. Current fuel zero. Ah. <sighs> Gotta love it. We have a uh, mountaineer, siege artillery. Once the flag consumption goes way down, that's actually kind of nice. Doesn't really help us out that much, though. And then propose a tripartite directorate. The US and UK refused. Okay. Well, we're going to fail anyways. That's great. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is stupid. I'm sorry, but this is stupid. I mean, come on, man. I get it that you have to make it slightly historical and have to reduce things and stuff like that, but... <sighs> doesn't make any sense. I mean, they're equal in terms of strength, but, like, they're not. They're absolutely not. Thunder jets are nice. Do have some of that as well. Economy's still looking relatively okay. Keep failing, guys. Keep failing. You'll do great by just failing. Humanitarian aid intervention. No one cares. G 
jet close air support. And we did throw some planes down here too, so. Just a multi roll. I mean, it's not great for attacking the defenses and such, but still not bad. One, two, three, two, one, two, not bad. Are they getting more strength back? Bruh. Okay. It is 1959. Alright, uh, we can't do that one. Let's see. Weapons of mass destruction, why not? Tripartite pact with the US and UK refused. <coughs> Excuse me. The tripartite pact with the US and Britain has been refused. Accepting such a pact would create a major imbalance of power. For France to retain its independence and international standing, it must continue to avoid agreements which make it dependent on or a junior partner. Although the US and Britain will be disappointed, it is vital that France looks after her own interests above all else, although we'll maintain a partnership. Well, I mean, screw NATO then, right? Promulgate the new constitution. And then we'll do enact social monetary reforms. All right, which is not bad. Are you learning anything, your son? Wow. Infinite, infinite strength in Vietnam. Oh, do they have any bots or anything like that? You guys, government corruption, which is pretty normal. Um, land reform, French advisors, of course. Constitutional referendum. One party state, they ban fascism, opium has been banned. Ah, you lose a lot of attack and you get a way, 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 way more defense. No wonder we're sucking here so harshly. Because these guys should have it as well, right? Universal health care, recent austerity measures, five year plan, substantial safety net, veteran affairs. No, you don't have it. No, oh, hold on. They do have expert guerrilla fighters. Plus 50% organization. What? Way less supply consumption. Enemy airspeed goes down. We get less attack, but quite a bit more defense too. What is that supply grace? Seventeen thousand five hundred hours. Jesus Christ! Oh my goodness! The people of France and their territories are voting on accepting the new constitution produced under the supervision of Charles de Gaulle. The recent crisis in Algeria precipitated unrest in the streets, among the military and instability in the National Assembly. National hero Charles de Gaulle returned to politics and called for an end of the Fourth Republic, demanding a new constitution that would better suit France. The failure of the government to respond to these challenges effectively led to the Fourth Republic dissolving itself and holding a constitutional assembly under de Gaulle's rule. The new constitution seeks to create a strong presidential system and grants de Gaulle uh, emergency powers for the first six months. The Fourth Republic uh, had kept power in the legislature, but its provisions designed to prevent political disunity largely failed. De Gaulle's Constitution ought to aid France in dealing with the pressuring, pressing issues of the Cold War and decolonization. The French electorate faces two choices in the referendum, whether to accept de Gaulle's constitution and proclaim a fifth republic or reject it, which I think we're still on the fifth republic. A long needed set of reforms. Just copy the American constitution and you'll be fine. Yeah, screw this. Are you kidding me? I mean, I get it. You know, you gotta have a prolonged for a little bit. But Vietnam has, like, had no issues. Like, we got rid of what was the Viet Cong or whatever it was earlier. Supply grids for 17,000 hours. That's a bit extreme. I could maybe see 1,700 hours, but 17,000 with a 1,000? Oh my goodness. That makes literally no sense. Do these guys not need food? Executions, citizens, and anti riotous campaign. Of course. Concerning? But not too concerning to us. 59 billion. I just want to pay out the debt, man. There's some definitely questionable things I have concerns about in this campaign, or at least for France, in this mod. Are we not getting any supply, bro? No, su are you kidding me? Supply, please go through here. There you go. If we leave, they could come into here, so we can't really leave either. Oh, the day music died, huh? Everyone hates hungry. Everyone hates hungry. After that one, I'm not sure what else we can do. Algerian compromise? Well, we definitely don't need that one. I think we'll do the begin the military reform after this as well. Yeah. So then we'll get this one, which will be very nice. Remove decentralized structure. Basic military structure. Won't be bad. These guys are winning. I mean, that's good for them. 
I mean, but... I don't understand that design. I don't like that design at all. It's a bit too much. 17,000 supply grace hours? They don't need food. Why would they? <sighs> yes. Well, at least the Vietnamese are being the Vietnamese. The French can't do jack god-awful squat. My gosh, the Vietnamese are freaking the heck out, though. To ban uprising? Well, doesn't look too uprising to me. Oh, my goodness. Wow. He is freaking out like crazy. He's like, do I attack? Do I not attack? Oh, no, no. Attack, attack. No, don't attack. He even has his buddy doing the same thing up there, too. Well... We lost that one. If that's the case, I'm going to come back over here, maybe, and hopefully we can get supply down here. I know we're not connected to the railway, but still. No supply from capital. The capital's in Saigon. Um, it's purchase American nukes. Kaboom. Kaboom a room. The south. This is it, right? Generation 2 multi-role fighter. And multi roll. We're making them. Doesn't make very much, but we're making them. Um, yeah, that'd be good to get that one done, though. We have more than enough equipment for everything here, so. I'm not sure what the holdup is. I think it's just a glitch thing in Hoi 4. It's not even a Cold War Iron Curtain thing. It's just a glitch thing in Hoi 4 in general, so. Yeah. Someone did say this mod is in a, sp in a special condition. Also, oh, see, now that, that's about to other. Okay, now they have 85% strength. Being on this side really was not good for us. Now I'll come over here. If you still can't win, I'm going to beat my head senseless, senseless into my desk. I mean, it's not like. Do we have any debuffs for, like, just not attacking and doing well? Look at that war exhaustion. Which, why is it still called war exhaustion? I mean, yeah, it's like 14 years after the war ended, but still. We have national strike still. Yeah, actually one. Don't let France ever fight. Oh my goodness, it's so bad. Alright, so now we got to begin the military reforms. Nice. Well, we're getting somewhere. I hope. We're gonna die so hard in the mountains here. Can you actually help win? Can you force the attack? Because we got enough manpower. We got more than enough manpower and equipment to kill these guys off. I know we, I never remember how to say that name. Nguy? As an N guy N, but Nguyen? Nguyen? I think it might be Nguyen. I always screw it up. I apologize. I always screw up saying that name. All these divisions, though. Division. Light artillery support. Do we actually have any light artillery? I mean, supply usage does go up, but getting more soft attack is just so nice. Does require quite a bit more, though. Light artillery is looking. We have enough. We don't have very much. I want more soft attack. I want as much soft attack as possible. Trucks, support equipment is fine. Medium artillery, yeah. 45 more soft attack is fine. I want as much soft attack just to pound the living pants off the people here. I should do that. There you go. Help support the attack. Just pound them. Pound them harder. When you're done pounding them, pound them even harder. Oh, yeah. We can launch an. Oh. Unmanned array into orbit. Oh, okay. I'm going to do that before is America. So I'll more food now, too. After military reform, the Lucian Conference, all right, concerning, as it should be, create the Chu. Remove informal medical system, oh, okay, nominal medical system, that's fine. Play on both sides. Good ties with French Algeria. Start the plan, Charles. If you complete the decision, fire by selecting this focus. Complete the decision, fire by selecting this focus. You might be able to turn the following negative effects into positive ones. Huh. Well, roll this manpower. Bank increases anti Semitic rhetoric. Nice. Revelation of the Doctor's Plot. If you don't know about that, please go right ahead as well. Nice. I'm just kind of researching whatever we feel like at this point. It doesn't matter too much. Jet close air support 2. We're building 2 2 2 ish. Nice. Is he learning anything? 
can you hurry up and uh, get it her done? Because they got up there too. Be very nice, please. Thank you. Sansha. Not bad. And they've almost got it. And there they go. Nice. Keeping it up for now. Let them stay here. I would like to attack here. Are they out of manpower? Looks like they're probably more out of equipment than anything else. Yeah, I think it's just a strength level. Go and see what happens if you force the attack. It's very hot. It's a jungle. It's got awful down here. These guys are freaking the flip out. Begin the military forms. Good. And Shin of the Chu. You, me, and the Chu. I uh, thought maybe better we actually attack up here into there first. Oh my gosh, you guys are flipping. Oh, I'm crazy. Even the generals can't. They can't even decide who should the general be. Alright, so that's the case. I want you to come up here and help take these guys out first. That might be better to do. I just want to play off that too. Look at it, propellant. Nice. Solid propellant rocket. Cool. And we're still up with Pierre. Napoleon, huh? Christian Democrat. What are we? Christian Democrat. Okay. The nationalization of the Rocky Petroleum Company? Alright. Well, see what you can do. As we're going to continually fo 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 force the attack. So this way they're all into one area, which makes it difficult to kill them off, but if they can't move, then we should be okay. There's no guarantee that's actually going to happen, but we'll do the best we can. Nice. Oh, don't let them move, you ding-dongs. Oh, we're suffering supply issues too. See? If they have nowhere to move, their divisions will die. Soviet aid. Oh! The French have long exploited and abused the people of Algeria with a colonial project now. The Algerians are fighting back with their organization, the National Liberation Front, or the FLN. This organization more organizes peasants and other exploited people and leads them into an armed struggle against the violent French military bolstered by local collaborators. The FLN promises a new regime of socialism and economic equality for Algeria to aid in this effort. The Soviet Union has agreed to begin offering aid of the FLNN, F to the FLNN. FLN. Soviet support will be crucial in helping the Algerian stand up against the modern French military. More importantly for the Soviets, undermining French rule and gaining Algerian support could be vital in the long term. More significantly, aiding the FLN confirms with the Soviets uh, long-standing opposition to imperialism and its exploitation of the colonized peoples. A blow to French imperialism? Well, we'll see. And another division dies. At least it's good for army XP and even a little bit of air XP. But we'll see. Oh yeah, look at that. They're looking really weak down here. Another division has died. I am brutal when you, when you do this sometimes. Two billion. We'll get up there. I promise you we'll get up there. Remaining act, act available domestic bonds. We lost a lot of men in this war, I bet, so far. Oh, actually 8,000. That's not terrible. Welfare policy change? 51 billion. Ooh. 61 billion. Ooh. Nice. If we keep doing that, we can pay it off. We got enough money. Well, there goes that too. Um, that's a hundred percent. We get more political power. We get more stuff here, which is really good. We don't really need more political power right now. I would like to influence Vietnam and make them our puppet, but there, it seems a little difficult to get them with us right now. Um, I do want them under us really badly. Actually, can we see how much influence we have towards other people? Ooh, the Chew. I guess we'll start the plan, Charles. Alright, so how do we get rid of that other stuff? Always fail. Plan child mission. No. Um, we've already won. Um, God dang it, guys. You should have... <sighs> given them time to react. I want to invest economically, but... It doesn't seem like it's really feasible right now. Uh, uh, we need to buy anything in front. Nothing really there either. Slowly losing against those guys. The war, 49% is kind of insane. Well, the uprising, yeah, probably when it hits 100%, then we will, but still. Need a membership of the Vietnam War. Nothing really there, too, so. Well, I guess we're just going to have to wait. This war is going to last forever. So I'm not sure how we can change that up, but then we'll do military inspections in Algeria. We'll lose stuff here. 
Call for you out in police action. It's a pain, right? Ray left. The Serub creation. Okay, that goes kind of crazy for us. And they create unemployment benefits. Okay, not terrible. And then education reform. Oh, we get a focus for the 1960s. Not bad. Well, French Cameroon's expired. As we've not yet decolonized French Cameroon yet, our mandate is now expired. Today, Cameroon will be granted independence. A new franc introduction. Um, on December 27th, 1958, an order was made that by, from a date to be fixed by decree and no later than January 1st, 1960, a new French monetary unit shall be created, the value of which shall be 100 francs. The new unit is designed by the term new franc. This monetary reform is the most public part of an ambitious program prepared by Jacques Rueff, which advocates fiscal consolidation to end inflation and promote the economic and financial renewal of the country. With an external value of the franc fixed at 1.8 million milligrams of fine gold. Uh, France is associated with the return to the convertibility of European currencies and can participate fully in the launch of the major construction site. European Community Construction, the third previous franc. Famous Al French Algerian author Alba Camus has been pronounced dead after a fatal car accident on January 4th, 1960. One of the greatest authors of French literature, Camus made great steps in the development of absurdism and raised awareness of the Algerian struggle within the Republic. While he lived a short life, his contribution to the world of literature will not be forgotten, living through eternity in his works. There is not love of life without despair about life. My apologies about that, but apparently the focus tree changed. As soon as we hit 1960, we didn't finish the other focus tree, but it changed. So, create the service action d'action de, de, de civique. We're proposing an ordinance on the penal code abolishing the distinction between offenses against external uh, security of the state and offenses against internal security of the state. Arrest FLN members in the mainland. I want to arrest them first. Ah, uh, we have exile divisions. Um, okay, another militia. Well, god dang it. What are we supposed to do about Cameroon, man? We have a lot of influence. Can we influence them more? Economic aid? That would be very smart. Influencing nation? Spend a lot of political power. I mean, I, I just don't know if we can influence them enough so that we can actually keep these guys here. That's my idea. Also, I had these guys return home for some reason, so. Um, come back over here. Come in south. Montpellier, Marseille. Get over here, too, if we can. Um, we have a lot of money, which is nice. And we're still. And we technically went to war because of uh, the whole thing in Constantine, but it is what it is. Uh, we have no planes, too, so I, I don't know. This mod still needs a little bit more work. I mean, we're going to go as far as we possibly can. We even have, have a whole new focus tree, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But, mm, we'll see. And we're going to pay off the debt. If we can, pay off the debt. In this episode, I will feel extremely accomplished. So, happy 1960. New decade, everybody. New decade, which is awesome. Education. Uh, systemized military might not be bad, but costs way more. Get 20% of our organization, which is pretty darn strong, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty strong. And we're still working on a lot of the stuff. We're actually building up now state infrastructure, which is not bad. Sometimes uncover hidden resource deposits, research infrastructure projects to increase max level. So, yeah, that won't be bad. We're probably still struggling here quite a bit, but we can at least pay off the debt. That's my main goal. And Algerian referendum. Total oil investment. So, election of 65. Um, new election, stay in Algeria. Failure of the coup. We'll probably have to go that way, because that looks like that's what happened. Recognize the PRC. Announced France will leave NATO. Establish a military junta. National... Oh! Authoritarian France. Bro, I don't know, man. This... D d I, no, I don't know. D does, uh... Is there a guide on the Discord server or something like that? There might be. Maybe not. Hopefully. I don't know. Don't can't pay him off yet. So, week of barricades. De Gaulle seemingly abandoned them to their own fate, which led to numerous student leaders organizing protests across the city of Algiers. Leader Pierre Lagalliard would orchestrate... Th oh my goodness, what's going on over here? Or, what the heck? Thousands of people taken to the streets when it started peaceful. What started peaceful would turn violent as police began firing into the crowds. The government buildings were quickly overwhelmed and any sense of order was quickly lost. By February 1st, de Gaulle's orders, or loyalists, would move into the city in restore order. While the situation has been put down, the Algerian conflict is showing no signs of calming down. If we move through there, do we not... Uh, I don't like this. I just don't like this. But we have paid off our debt. I feel accomplished now. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Very nice. If that's the case. You're searching construction speed? Let's go at it. Keep building. Keep making. Keep constructing. Um, I don't want to invest in Vietnam because you never know if it could blow up. I don't invest any really, really anywhere. Truth be told, just because uh, how much more strength do they get back? 
bros. How much? This is annoying. I don't like this war. Can you force it? Can you try at least to force it? This is annoying. Um, anything else around here? We can do that stuff. We probably will eventually. A couple days until we keep doing more research stuff up here, which is really nice, though. Um, continuous pressurization. It is 1960. Let's focus on our computers. Oh. Yes. Yeah, Russell Johnson and FLN arrest in Metropole. Following the orders of the French Prime Minister, the military and left-wing French group were at RJ and the National Liberation Front of Algeria are being arrested in mainland France. The groups have been smuggling cash notes and weapons from the countries who are belligerent in Algeria for a long time and have gone undetected. However, following a series of interrogations in the night, the locations of various cells and connections have been revealed. Following this information, arrests are underway, taking all who are complicit into custody. A series of arrests will likely cause the FLN to experience shortages of weapons and money. At least that's the goal, probably. Social policies we don't really care about right now. Um, we make more money. Hopefully we can invest into mainland France, which we do we need here. Stainless steel. Nice. Ratification of interim Iraqi constitution. Why do we care about this? If you don't know about that, please go ahead. As well as Maltov appointed ambassador to Mongolia. Interesting. Alright. Mm, economic investments. I mean, as long as we invest where we want to invest, that's the most important thing. Develop the industrialized states. Current budget is zero. Well, 25 million. Can we invest a little more? 100 billion? No. Upgrade industrialized states to develop and improve income and building slots? Why not? Treasury? There you go. We want 34 million? That's not bad. I, I can deal with that. You know, as long as we can invest into our own people. I can get along with that very nicely. Who do I influence? Actually, who is this? Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia? Can I influence someone else? How much influence do we have over like India? India would be probably pretty difficult to get under our influence, and we probably have no influence over them. Thailand has a lot of influence over there. Khrushchev is it? Oh, hello, Khrushchev. Hello. Um, Philippines in America. Is anyone we really want? I mean, there's just so many things I can maybe these guys, Soviet Union, Federal Republic of Germany. Maybe I want to start small. Uruguay might not be bad. Mexico? You look familiar. Oh, there's Eisenhower still, 1960. Uh, John Diefenbacher. Cuba? Might be a little difficult to influence. Soviet Union might also be very difficult to influence as well. Italian Republic, Spain, how about Portugal, or maybe Belgium, maybe we could do Belgium first, they have two puppets, you know what, Can we start? Let's, let's influence them, they're so close, we should be okay to influence them, right? Oh, Foundation of the United Socialist Party, uh, after many years of French left beginning disconnected, is assembling Democratic, Socialist, Christian, left-wingers, and Social Democrats countrywide are celebrating the foundation of the party. With approximately 20,000 active members and 50,000 estimated supporters nationwide, or half a million actually, the USB is looking to expand their influence with a series of campaigns under the new United French Left. The USB is currently working on releasing its official platform, combining common elements from the three United Socialist parties, with support of left-wingers from around the country. Will this ideology stand a better chance than ever of achieving political power in France, as France rated it recognize a German Democratic Republic? What? German Democratic Republic? Algerian referendum. Total oil investments. Well, I guess up next, we're going to go with urbanization. City planning? Okay. They're investing them. <coughs> Bellop. Auto queue, all this stuff, which is alright. Auto queue, five. Eh. Industrialized, pre industrial states. Yeah, so far not bad. We got, we're still building all this stuff up. I'm still building two office parks, industrial parks, good stuff. 160 per every quarter or whatever it is is not bad. So Belgium. If we could have the Belgian boys under us, a little bit of a talky senpai. Hey, 53%, not bad. 55% of total. Manage the cloud and dominance one holds over a nation. Influence can be expanded by investing in buildings, giving gifts, military aid, and using political power. Other countries will compete for, compete for influence, and hold the host country will try to assert its sovereignty if they can. If your influence is high enough, you can force the country into signing favorable trade deals or even make them a subject state, in addition to slowly giving them drift towards you or your world outlook. 
Influence can be used as a currency to manipulate the politics in your favor. I do not decolonize French Togo land yet. Our mandate has expired, and now they'll be granted independence. God dang it. Fine. Seven percent. We're losing all our political power, which is fine. I mean, I'm not sure what else I have, what I would do with it. Which I'm sure I'll figure out what we're going to do with it immediately, as soon as we fully demobilize, or I guess lose all of our political power, but what else is new? Any good circuits? Bad with a penalty? There you go. Well, we're almost out of political power, but we're at 80%. It's okay with me. Um, Cameroon, disappointing. Over here, incredibly disappointing. Attack while the going's good? I don't know. Yeah, they're getting more strength back. Ooh. Well, we can only get over two a day, so that's actually pretty strong. That's pretty nice, actually. And, like normal, the v uh, Not the Vietnamese. Well, the Vietnamese, yeah. The Vietnamese and the Vietnamese don't know what they're doing. They're just going at each other like crazy. But at least we see the economy. We're trying to crash it really hard earlier, but... Now it's okay. Definitely okay. Not bad. Not bad. Keep building yourselves up. Municipal water infrastructure will be really good as well, so... We'll get more food. It's oh, they're actually attacking us. Look at that. Yeah, let them attack us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Can you counterattack? Probably not. Yeah, don't counterattack then. Oh, boy. Uh, housing development? Every place gets a new house. Okay. What's over here? The French military? After 61? Oh, 300 more political power. That'd be very nice. I only get those Belgian boys under as fast as possible. Jews? Oh, condemn Israeli expansion. Yeah, no Jews. Oh, wait, that's the, that's the De Gaulle route. Versus the probably social democratic route. Democratic socialists. Condemn American imperialism. Viva le Quebec libre. France, Luxembourg, border rectification. Anything about Belgium here? No? Okay. Uh, I wanted to win there, but we just cannot. Guys are too dumb. I wish you to tell you, where are you investing this? States can be upgraded. Remote low populations such as islands or sparse populated states can increase these costs. That's very true. Cost industrialized, 2.16 billion. Congo? Oh. How, how much are we here? 85% still. That's awesome. Oh, they lost a Congo. Ronda Rundi. It's fine. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to defer as long as that solid block is keep going. That's all I care about. Wow, look how much money we have right now. How much will this cost in total? Um, 48 billion. Cost to develop. Oh, number of industrial states not being upgraded. New, what is that one? New Hebrides. Uh, ah, it is an island over here. Yeah, islands cost so much upgrade. But now that our economy is doing okay-ish, we can do even better. And this, oh, they got nuclear material. Ooh, look how much money we have now. Oh my gosh. Screw that. We're going to spend a lot of on all these policies. We couldn't do it earlier because we had military austerity or economic austerity that I can't, cannot say right, apparently. Uh, but I'm definitely learning this mod a little better. I'm not going to lie. I hope you guys are learning as well. So. And they're back at it. Fine. Use up all the money you have. You just have not been learning very much, have you, dude? Jacques. Jacques, why? Jacques, why? Why Jacques? But let's do housing development. We'll see where we're at next. And then I'll probably do a couple more pokes off screen while we're waiting until we get another event. Industrialization. Congo appeals for you intervention. I'm going to say no. Uh, I'll probably do population boom, which doesn't sound right, but it probably does. Total oil investments, which we definitely need. Increased standards of living. Ah. The Fouche plan. We'll do population boom. We'll do increased standards of living. We'll try to get the Belgians under us. And we'll do all this stuff. Ooh, even more political power. I love it. Congo crisis. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we're going to be spending a lot of money and trying to get Belgium under us to be a fully integrated puppet. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.